ago When your eyes are closing Are you really hoping? A total of um, 155 people because most of them boys, it's a mixed school anyhow. Uh, most of that number, 53 girls, I can remember, 53 girls, and the rest are boys. And this is the, 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 the planting season, so most of them say, ah, you know, it's a waste of time, the, the rains are coming, the, I have to plant, I'm getting late. First of all, giving the blame, throwing it to the parents. Because we have them only a few hours for the day and then they have them for the rest of the day, rest of the 24 hours, night and day. They have them more than we have them. Why should you care more about finding out about your husband and then less about thinking of the girl who is going to be your future benefit tomorrow? You see, that's what we are asking. Them. Indeed, it is them that create these issues. That, that, that truth cannot be avoided, especially for our environment. It's, it's actually the women that are the administrators, they are the caretakers, they are everything. The, the, the men are there only to go and find what they bring for the sustenance. That's, that's actually the average situation around here. Well, it's actually Right, that um, it is sacrifice and it is for them that we, me personally, sacrifice my services. You see, we are seeing that um, instead of developing, we are going down the drain. Everybody is looking out for greener pastures, better paid jobs and these things, and then deliver kids. Go astray. They don't do and they are they are not educated. You know, especially formally. You see, but well, then if you are not educated formally, then what will happen? You continue to deteriorate. So that is my advice to them. Every time I talk to them, if I do holy devotions, I have some announcements to make, I always tell them, please be careful. Not all is lost. There is hope. If only we can concentrate and learn. That's what I'm telling them. And then I always advise them to be peaceful with one another. Because it was because of some disgruntled people who decided that, well, if it is like me, I'm not enjoying this other person is enjoying, so I, I will not take it. And then he started going around, started going around, I'm not taking it. Instead of telling the person, this is what's happening, I don't want it that way. I want it this way. He didn't make suggestions. So, but then, if we sit together and be peaceful with one another, through education, we learn all those things, and then we talk. If I, I don't like your way, I don't like your style, I tell you, please don't continue this style. It will not end up fine with me. So it will not end up in a fight. It will end up in certain limits that, okay, oh, if you don't like this, all right, I'll stop. But if we start saying we keep grudges, no, it will end up again in the same way it started all over again. So that's my advice for them. Be peaceful with one another, learn, be educated, you will see light. Education is light. But other than that, we are still in darkness.
we've got a lot of kids that are coming in from the villages and really if only they, uh, they, they're ready to work, nothing is, is going to stop them. Uh, sometimes we talk to them at the assembly and then even in, even in classrooms when I go out to teach, I tell them myself, I just give an example of myself. It's hard at times, you have to work harder if only you, you want to make it. You can be helping your kid, your uh, mother or your parents at home and at the same time be coming to school. If only you work hard, you, you can make it. For now, we have uh, 229 girls and uh, 405 boys. And so we have a total of 634. In the primary school, you find out that, it, for, for instance, I was during the NPSC here, there was a school that was almost having girls, all girls. But we find out by the time girls get to the, to the secondary school, the number started, starts going down a bit. It starts going down. And by the time they get from uh, the GSS level to the senior secondary school, most of them go out of school. A lot of factors are responsible. Some of them might include when their parents not being able to help them out to go to uh, junior school, uh, teenage pregnancy, early marriage, and uh, a lot of other factors. First of all, I tell them that it's not really easy. That's the first thing, because it wasn't easy with me. You see, so I, I, I wouldn't tell them, oh, it's a bed of uh, roses, no. I would tell them that if only you want to succeed, you've got to work harder. You've got to go all out of the way and, uh, and do something. You've got to forget all about these other um, extra things that normally get our uh, kids off school. You see? You've got to work harder, and if only you work harder than what you used to do now, it's definitely possible that you are going to succeed.